I just wanted to show you an alternative way to cut out windows. I don't like booleans. They create problematic surfaces. Um, there's a tool called the multi-cut tool. So if I go under polygons and mesh tools, there's the multi-cut tool. And uh, a couple, few different ways of using this. Um, but what I'll do is I'll go to the front view and just kind of hit 4 to go into wireframe and then kind of line it up here. If I hold down shift I can just drag this line across and I can kind of cut through the whole surface like a laser. Um, you can also, yeah in some cases, not this case, okay so I'll do that here as well. Did that get all the way through? Let me can always move these afterwards if they're not quite right. So I just like to have it cut all the way through because it keeps the surfaces as quads, so everything's four-sided surface. Um, now I can just, you know, delete out those gaps if I want. So um, I'm going to isolate this surface just to make it easier to look at. So I'm going to hit this button right here to isolate the surface and then right mouse click face and I'll just marquee select and that selects right through you know and then if I unisolate the surface by hitting that again cut out there's something wrong with this oh there's just like a whole bunch of extrudes on top of each other I think it's kind of messed that one up but I might just take this and uh, duplicate it again put that here and uh, you can either make these faces transparent or you could uh, let me just see what this how this is shaped oh it's like just a cross thing in the front well yeah I mean so that's not going to be a transparent window but uh, You can also, um, I might just rebuild this. I think I would have done that a little differently. Just to have, uh, I guess I'll just demonstrate that as well. So, I'm going to make a cube. Oh, let's turn on, um, turn off interactive creation. Why is it still doing that? Create polygon cube options. It's off. It shouldn't be asking me to. Oh, okay. I don't know why it's getting that message. I guess it was making the cube, but it was still doing that message there for some reason, which it shouldn't have been. Okay. So, no worries. Um, I'm going to move the um, pivot point to the corner of this. If I hold down D and V at the same time, like in the middle, D and V and then middle mouse drag, it puts it to that corner. And then um, I could snap it to uh, the corner of this by holding down V, as in Victor, and middle mouse drag. And then this to help me line it up. And then I might move this out and over a little bit. And then um, make that thinner. I guess as thick as the building. That's kind of weird. So yeah, it's a little thick there, but I'm just going with it. So now um, I think before I go on, I'll make this wall thinner because it's just too thick um, for the window. Is it? Maybe that's all right. I guess the window doesn't need to be as thick as the wall, right? So I think I'll start by. Um, just grabbing those two faces on either side and shift right mouse click 
and go to extrude face. That's a nice shortcut. And then scale these in a little bit like that. Maybe a little bit more here. And then um, shift right mouse click, extrude face again. And then push that in some. And then I can I could probably just delete these faces and you know make the individual cross beams be out of separate surfaces if I want. Um, I might just double click on this edge to get that whole edge and move it back um, to where it meets here. And then, um, yeah, for the window, I just might make these as additional services. I'm just going to hold down V for snap here and then scale this. So, and then um, rotate this it work 90 degrees, that. scale that in. I mean, maybe it's not the cleanest way to build this, but, and if you want to set, you could put a separate plane there and make it transparent if you want to do that for glass or just leave it empty if you want and make it see through like that. So that might be a, an approach to doing that. But the main point in this video was how I like to cut holes not using Boolean because I think Booleans are bad because they make bad surfaces that are inherently problematic.